You know, over the last few years now, politicians have been making a big push for chip funding with nanotechnology an essential component of the electronics we all use every single day. And the industry in the U.S. becoming fiercely competitive with other countries like China. News 10's Juliana Bruno suiting up to find out why Albany soon could become the center of it all. Walking into the R&D chip fab at Albany Nanotech for the first time is like something out of a sci-fi movie. But having to suit up and wipe down our video equipment were signs of how real and serious the work is here. So what exactly is a fab? Fabrication area. This particular room is for development equipment, for producing wafers that need to be in a particularly clean environment. We keep the air clean. We wear these suits to keep the environment clean, the wafers clean and uh, hopefully produce work and development work that will uh, bring our next generation equipment in line with what we want to do as well. Mike Cummings, a field service engineer for Tokyo Electron, which designs and manufactures the tools and equipment that make semiconductors, showing us a type two robot loader module. Right now I can uh, take a wafer and the first place it goes is called the orienter, so it makes sure it's centered. An example of the kind of work done at Albany Nanotech. Although the facility is manufacturing capable, Cummings isn't making the chips for our smartphones, computers, and tablets. He's testing out and improving the technology that eventually will. On this site, it's uh, all R&D, so it's uh, mostly just testing. But in a normal fab, sometimes they'll see three, 400 cycles uh, before a wafer is completed with all the multiple layers that they put on for microchips. And it won't be long before the semiconductors being tested are in use. Really? It could be as little as five years. So wow. uh, the technology is moving quick. And, uh, but Tokyo Electron is on the forefront of developing. Being at the forefront of development and research is what the leaders at the facility are striving for. Expansion plans are underway for a new fab, and the design phase is set to begin soon. It's a multi-year project that's expected to be completed in the 2025 time frame. Dave Anderson is president of New York Creates, which owns and operates the Albany Nanotech Complex. We really bridge the gap, the valley of death, they, they call it, from research to manufacturing. The Chips and Science Act, which this year became law, calls for a National Semiconductor Technology Center, or NSTC. Anderson believes Albany Nanotech has the most advanced capabilities for semiconductor research in the U.S., and perhaps equal to any in the world and therefore is the obvious choice. We have the most advanced technology and the broadest platform for building uh, essentially the most number of generations of technology at uh, the 300 millimeter scale. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer, who spearheaded the legislation, has said that despite private companies wanting in on it, he'll work to make sure the NSTC is located here in the capital region. Anderson says New York Creates is more than ready. We're excited to work with the other regions to create that capability that uh, gives us that national footprint for continuing to be world leaders in semiconductor innovation. A spokesperson for Schumer tells me the U.S. Department of Commerce expects to have the funding competition for the R&D programs, including the NSTC, roughly around springtime, and that Schumer is pushing for everything to happen as soon as possible. Reporting in Albany, Juliana Bruno, News 10, ABC. Fascinating. It is.